Hey, what's up guys and, and hello from Italy. So uh, during this video I'm going to show you and share you and demonstrate you uh, one of the really really great um, trading opportunities for a GBP, CHF and GBP, JPY as of today and tomorrow and day after that. And uh, don't remember, don't forget that there are there is going to be NFP news release on Friday. So basically speaking, let me go now to my to my to my laptop and show you what kind of trading opportunities I I am seeing during the next couple of days. So uh, let's get to it. Okay. All right. So let's just jump right into it. So GBP JPY and GBP CHF are seeing really really great. Uh, trading opportunities as well as uh, don't remember no, sorry don't forget about the, the non-farm payroll but we're gonna take a look at that in a second so first of all GBP JPY and GBP CHF why I want to talk about these two pairs and uh, because there are really great trading opportunities so first of all okay so earlier on there was this news release for the GBP CHF exchange rate forecast UK election uncertainty to lead to a heightened volatility in the coming weeks so basically speaking okay we, you know the volatility uh, as already has increased so there is a big big huge swings going on when we come when we take a look at the gbp chf you know as you know we as the forex day traders the bigger the volatility you know it's better for us because we don't care where the where the gbp usd sorry, the gbp chf is going to go we don't care okay we don't care if this is going to go uh if it's going to increase in value or it's going to go down in value we don't really care because we can make money both ways right we can we can sell the position or we can buy the position and we can make profits both ways but uh, so but what's important is it's important is that we need to understand that if we are able you know to distinguish where the price is going to go up or down then that's the only thing we are looking at you know and by looking at the daily chart okay daily charts you can see that uh, uh, you know the, the the price for the gpc hf is becoming you know really really stagnant and as you can see that uh, based on the on the rsi okay so on daily chart and really really pay attention to the rsi i think i, I know i'm i'm always you know telling you that in my previous videos that there is no best indicator rsi however is really really um, really really great indicator because uh, you know, it, it's showing you the price swings and respectively speaking, when you take a look at the daily chart for GBP CHF, you're going to see this, uh, you know, that, that, you know, that the price is actually wobbling and then and, and, and being like uh, being uh, around 70 line for quite a while. You see, since the 15th of October, okay, respectively. And now, you know, the price is still, you know, wobbling around this, you know, wobbling around this area, of, you know, around 70 area. And as you know, if, 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 uh, if we are seeing RSI, you know, breaking through the 70 area, you know, and at the same time, if we are seeing that the price is touching the, resist, uh, the resistance, okay, what does it mean? It means that those are the best positions for a sale. Uh, so basically speaking, okay, uh, if we, if, if basically speaking, uh, in a tomorrow, uh, uh, so tomorrow is Thursday, so tomorrow and Friday, make sure you watch GBP CHF, make sure you watch daily chart, and if you're gonna see that the RSI is going to show us that the price is going above the 70 line, okay, the RSI, then make sure that you take a look at the, the uh, hourly chart or five minute charts, a five minute chart on your uh, GBP CHF. Basically, what we are looking for, we are looking for the sell position, okay? We're looking for going, you know, we're looking to short it. But where? Uh, as you can see, based on the daily chart, we have a, we have a good, we have a, we have pretty, pretty great, uh, you know, resistance a a corridors. Not resistance po uh, areas, but resistance corridors, as you can see right here. Uh, so when take a look at the five minute chart, okay? Now let me take a look at the five minute chart now right here. And by looking at the five minute chart, uh, we can we will you will be already able to see you see on a five minute chart you can see that the best entry opportunities for the sale trade is here so gbp chf sale trade for uh 1.28132 1.28132 1 so this again would be perfect perfect for uh, for a sale so you see this is perfect for a sale so sale zone number one uh, and so this is basically based on the fundamental news release, which states that GBP CHF is, well, it's really volatile. It is volatile, you know, it has been more volatile than it was last week. Uh, and take a look at the daily chart. 
we see that this is a really, really strong resistance. Uh, and uh, on the five minute chart, we can see that this would be our best entry opportunity for a sell. This line right here, this price right here, which I gave you. So pay attention to this. Also, as you can see, the RSI is also confirming. If the RSI is going to be about this line, you know, the price is going to be here, right? And this will be, will, will be a great, great opportunity for us to make sell positions. Now, GBP, JPY is similar picture. The GBP, GBP, JPY is really, really similar picture. Uh, looking for sell positions again on the daily chart we can see that the resistance area is in this in, in this area right here on daily chart we always take into consideration the spikes so this is daily chart but uh, i would go lower okay uh, uh, around this area right here so now let's let's take a look at the five minute chart sorry it's in italian you know the the trading view chart today is in italian because i am abroad i am not in my country i'm in italy so everything is italian as you can see here it's really, you know, funny, but uh, that's what it is, you know, it's, you know, it's, I'm using I I Italian IP. So now we can see that for short term, uh, for, for, for short term, price actually broke out, okay, it broke out the, uh, the, the, the resistance, but uh, let's, let's zoom in, you see this line right here, this is our, pro this is our base entry for a sale, based on a daily chart and based on, on the, on, on a five minute chart, you know. And based on the fact that it's GBP, JBY is also really, really volatile. So a sale trade for this will be in here. Uh, 1, uh, 1,41,168. 1,41,168. So sell. 1,41,168. I'm just going to write it down so, it, so it's going to be maybe easier for you to see. Uh, sell zone number one. So here we go. Yeah, and but don't forget, guys. Don't forget, you know, do always do if you want to find the best entries, make sure you you look at the the five minute chart, okay? Uh, and uh, besides, I know besides that, also remember that Friday is big day. Friday is the non-farm payroll, as you can see right here. This news will this news will be released at 12:30 GMT, and this is really really significant. And these are the biggest news. This biggest news release for the USD currency for the whole month. For the whole month. Some of the professional traders don't do anything for the whole month. They only trade this because this is significant, you know, and this is going to make significant uh, price moves and significant, you know, uh, you know, uh, significant buying and or selling opportunities. So make sure that you, uh, you know, so the four, so previous was 136k, uh, forecast is uh, 89. So the forecast, as you can see, is a lot lower than the previous price figure. Whenever, if the price figure is going to be negative, you're going to see red actual figure and it's going to bring the price down. In that case, we need to pay really close attention to one to five minutes and one minute charts, okay? Uh, and uh, because we're going to see great, crazy price swings. So we need to make sure that we watch five minute charts and one minute charts. Uh, and it is they are going to be really, really short term trades, like five, ten minutes max. But or, or look at my previous live stream video about the, about NFP and how I traded. Uh, and the thing is this that uh, so when I, so there is going to be waves and the non-farm payroll payroll news are creating waves, come going the price up and down and then so if it's a positive, it's going going to go up, down and up. Okay, so two waves. Sometimes there's going to be three waves: up, down, up, down and up or more up. So sometimes there's, there, there are three waves. But I don't recommend you to trade more with more than two waves because the third wave sometimes could be could be fa false wave. You know, there are many three people are jumping into the markets and and, and it's markets are not predictable. So make sure you really pay attention to uh, and, and and you know watch my other videos how I do non farm payroll and, and yeah. But there will be great trading opportunities. So if the price is, if the actual figure is going to be green positive, this means that USD is going to go up. So USD JPY, USD CHF is going to go up. And if, it's, if the USD is going to go up, we can at the same time make sale trades for, yes, gold. Sell trade for gold and buy for USD. So, but we don't know what will be the news release. Nobody knows what will be the news release. If we knew what will be the news release, we would be multi-billionaires, you know, by in no time. But nobody on earth will know the actual news uh, uh, result before it's actually being released. So make sure that you understand. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, please wait, my, wait me back uh, when I'm, I will be back, you know, on Sunday on, in my country and I will be able to do live streams. Uh, yeah, so I'm at the moment I'm in Italy, in Pisa. I'm going to go to Florence. 
possibly a Veragio, Veragio, you know, the, the beach town. Um, yeah, on, on, we'll see maybe on, on Friday or Saturday, but I will be back on Sunday, that's for sure now. So thank you guys for watching this video, and again, if you have any questions, any problems in trading, or if you need any assistance, uh, you know, any, any, any emergency assistance, email me at incommentorbox at gmail.com, and I'll try to help you as much as I can, even when I'm uh, abroad, you know. So, uh, because I go on holiday, you know, it's, 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 I, go, I go on holidays often, but, uh, you know, but I, I'm always, guys, you know, I'm, I'm always finding time to help you, so you will not be left in the dark. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and see you guys again next time. Bye.